Well, hi everyone, and we're back again here, hopefully with another video for you that will be helpful. And uh, the one we've picked today is uh, number four of the mistakes that uh, trend lines are making. And this one is about, uh, in a trend flame connection, one attempting to do healing or offering some kind of healing or doing healing work on their twin flame. Now, I want to mention here also, <coughs> excuse me, uh, that I have done a video on this um, on the past, and I wanted to do this one again because I can see it's becoming a really big issue, and the reason it's becoming a really big issue is there are quite a few other people uh, now up on YouTube who are saying that this is exactly a good thing to be doing that you can do this through meditation, you can do this through um, attending their workshop or their seminar or whatever, or uh, getting your twin flame to go and see a healer in that particular sense. And I want to kind of um, say again here in this particular video, and I know there are going to be uh, a lot of other people who are going to agree with me on this point, is when you are going through this connection, the connection is an attempt at a union taking place between two individuals. But it's also an individual pathway of growth, of personality, character, mental and emotional aspects of the individual in question. And if any of you can remember, um, going back to the very beginning of your connection, be it call it a twin flame connection, a soulmate connection, or twin flame relationship, or the, the label really doesn't matter. The one thing that I wanted to point out uh, to the both people here is this, is if you can recall the intensity of the beginning of the connection and the energies of the connection that took place and how much uh, either one of you had difficulty in adapting to that energy and the ways that it affected you, understand that over the course of time, your body will adapt to that flow of energy, so it will become less in intensity as it was in the beginning, and I think everybody understands that. And the reason it becomes less intensity is simply because there is a process that is taking place within the two individuals, but at an individual level. I want to mention at this particular point is I, I don't think that a lot of people are actually tapping into the realm of possibility that when they are having these intense twin flame connections, because everyone is taking it as potentially as a relationship, which is basically the possibility of it can going there. It is more of an evolutionary process of the two individuals in question. And in the beginning, you were unable to control the intensity of the energy and over a period of time, as I said, you adapted to it. So what happens is your process, unbeknown to you and uncontrolled by you, uh, in a lot of cases, and um, it begins to work out some of the details or the issues that are necessary for both of you to grow. And what that means is, after you come down from what I've termed as the bubble love phase, I like everybody's using my phase now, my phrase now. That's I'm really keen with that idea. Um, and uh, once you come down from the bubble love phase, you get into the he said, she said, and you start pushing each other's buttons. Well, what happens is you're actually bringing up the individual issues within yourself as your character flaws or your character areas that are gray that need to be modified or corrected or brought into balance. And we all have them. There are no exceptions. There isn't any one of us on the planet that's perfect, myself included, I can assure you that. So we all have these little deficiencies of character, deficiencies of personality, um, 
and these are all growth potential. And what happens is, in some cases, and, and I see this all the time, where you'll have <clears throat> one individual in a twin flame connection who the, the things that need to be corrected or balanced are not really that obvious. All right? You have to be, you know, kind of observe them or kind of spend some time with them before you find out the little idiosyncrasies with their personality or their character. And on the other hand, you can have some very obvious things going on with another one. Uh, they could be um, could be a drug addict, they could be a narcissist, they could be this, they could be that. And it always seems that the one that comes up in conversations or in, in help efforts in that situation is, well, what can I do to help my twin flame, he's this or she's that kind of scenario. And this usually means in the back of their mind that they'd like to expedite the process to hurry it up so they could get into a relationship with this person because that's what they're thinking. They're thinking in terms of a relationship. And that's the most important point that I want to make during the course of this video. If I don't make any other point, it's this one. It is when the person is wanting to do healing work or assist in some way the changes that are necessary in their twin flame, what it means is they have a hidden agenda. They want something out of it. And I don't care who you are or how you say it, because I've seen this so many times. Whenever one twin wants to do some kind of healing work or assistance in helping the other one to grow or awaken or uh, alleviate himself from an addiction or a personality trait or a narcissist or whatever, it's because the other one really wants them in a relationship. And this is where it becomes limited in its perspective because what happens at that point, the people are no longer thinking or the person is no longer thinking in terms of actual individual growth. What they've decided to do is they've decided to take control of that twin flame connection because obviously from their observation, it's not going in a way that they see is productive to where it should be going, to where they think it should be going. So they want help, or they want assistance, or they want advice, or they want information on how they can do some energy work with them. Now, I fully realize that there are twin flames out there and others who offer these services. And I'm going to say this point blank. I totally disagree with it. It is not the correct way to work a union for twin flames that are coming together, even if it's going in the form of a relationship or even if it's not going in the form of a relationship in a traditional way. Uh, I just might add in this video that already there are quite a few people um, on the planet who have found out that their twin flame connection did not pan out in what they thought to be a traditional relationship. And I have even heard quite a few people on Facebook talking in that way in, the, in some of the twin flame groups. And as I said before, just because you have a twin flame connection with someone does not mean that a relationship is pending in a traditional format that we know. So in regards to the keeling, what takes place is this, is if you, uh, and this is a hypothetical situation, if you, and now I'm going to sound like I'm going to contradict myself just to point out something, if you, in a twin flame connection, have arrived where you feel that you can honestly say that you are fully harmonized within yourself, fully balanced within yourself. You have a complete blend of masculine and feminine within yourself as an individual. And you can say that the energies flow within your body and within your chakra system in a perfectly harmonious way. And if you can say that you have a state of well-being and happiness within yourself basically most of the time, uh, and you can say that honestly, and higher self can confirm it, confirm it for you, then I would say you're in a fit place of uh, consciousness to actually to be able to assist to do something with your twin flame. Now, how would you do that? You see, I never offer 
any kind of information unless I offer you some possibilities to, you know, to explain to you why, why not, when you should, and how you can by understanding that every twin flame connection on the planet is nothing more than a process of evolution of the two energetic beings, whether they come from one soul or whatever combination that it is, that there is the individual growth of that particular state of consciousness. Just because you have connected with your twin flame, and it's the old adage of one soul and two bodies or three bodies or twelve bodies, it doesn't matter. When you're in that vehicle, that physical body, be it male or female, and you're in a combination thereof or whatever, you are there to develop that particular individual vehicle's state of consciousness. And that is your responsibility from that particular aspect. You, unless you are in that state that I just mentioned, should not be interfering in the growth of the other in that particular perspective. And I want to uh, say here that if you're going to do this and you've reached that harmonious state that I have mentioned, the way to do it is this. You have to remember that if you're in that state and you have developed all of the appropriate character aspects and what I'm talking about in character is you have developed uh, being authentic, you're sincere, honest, you have compassion, gentleness, you're trustworthy, all of the um, so-called spiritual aspects of personality or whatever you want to call them, and you decide that you want to be of assistance to your twin because you know and have discovered along the way that the way for you to be assistance to your twin is actually avoid doing anything with your twin in any way, interfering, and spending the time on doing nothing but working with yourself, and at the particular point in time when you get self going, then what you can do, and this is a very simple thing you can do, and I've mentioned it before and I'm going to mention it again, is you can go into a meditative state because at the time you've reached this particular point, you are well acquainted with one particular part <clears throat> of your energy system, and that is your heart center. And your heart center has also moved to a, an area of development where you probably will not be aware of any of the other chakras within your embodiment. What that means is, is in all possibility, you're not perfect, but the other chakras have now gone, uh, shall we say, semi-dormant. In other words, relatively speaking, they're not active that anymore. And the energies of those chakras, which each has a state of consciousness, I might add, it has a direct relationship on your existence in three-dimensional reality and a few others to mention a few. But the energy is now assimilated by the heart center chakra. So you would only be aware pretty much of a heart center uh, activity and connections with people in that particular way. So at that point, you are in a position that you can offer assistance without assisting. And I'm going to give you an example of how you can do that. There are other ways you can do it. But this is just one way that you can do this and can be relatively successful with it. <clears throat> because by this point, you have changed your energy field uh, and reached the state that I'm talking about, you're already having an effect upon your twin flame without no effort and what you're even knowing it. Because you're still telepathically linked and the connection can never be broken, your energy field and what you are radiating it can then be automatically, with no effort on your part, is being transposed. Now, what I mean by transposed, if that's the right word, I think it is, that the energy is transposed directly to your twin. And the twin may not be consciously aware of you impressing them with your growth factor or what you've done all on your own. But energetically, that energy would be flowing through their system also now depending upon the individual soul group that they have incarnated into. And if, and if, and I emphasize the if, if, here's the point, folks. You need to understand we all have to start learning something about the process itself. Just doing the twin flame thing and all the love and romance and fluffy shit just doesn't cut it anymore. We have to get into understanding the process. So depending upon the circumstances of your twin and the soul group and the issues and the patterns, remember something. If you are twin flames, all right, and it doesn't matter where you are in 
society. All right, you can be in a position of authority. You can be in a position of uh, any different walk of life. All right, but you're working with that particular soul group energies, and you're manifesting a lot of the dysfunctional patterns through your embodiment and your consciousness at a particular point in time. Both of you are doing it, but usually one has taken on uh, probably a little bit more of a difficult challenge. Uh, it seems to be that way because the other one may have it easier, but if you look at it, they seem to be both as difficult as the other, but one, is, if you interpret it, if you understand what I'm saying. So anyways, the person who is working through that soul group can then absorb that energy and it can assist them to rise above the, shall we say, the imperfections of that particular soul group. Another point everyone needs to understand here, uh, I think a lot of twin flames, when they come together, all they think about is it's all about them. I want to I wanna say to all of you, if you actually are a set of twin flames, it's never all just about you two, all right? There are literally hundreds and if not thousands of people involved in the situation that you're in. It's never just about you, all right? When, when twin flames came here, they never just came for them. They came to be of service, and service begins, as I've mentioned in a very old video, in childhood, and all of the stuff that you take on. That needs to be taken into consideration with all of this healing stuff that everybody wants to do just to get them into a relationship. And that means there's that hidden agenda, as I mentioned already. So anyways, you are now in that position. So you can expedite the process even more by assisting in this way. Going into the heart center chakra, as I mentioned, because you now will only probably feel that heart center chakra, and simply visualizing a picture of yourself and your twin, all right, together as a picture, a visualization. Now, some people say, well, I don't know how to visualize. Everyone can visualize something. If you think, you're visualizing, because you can't think unless you see. Pictures and thinking are one and the same thing. But you must do it in the heart center chakra. And you must do it seeing it as a picture of you representing the feminine and him representing the masculine or whatever other combination you have. <clears throat> and you just hold that picture in the energy of the heart center. And you do it. Now, somebody's going to say, well, gee, that's really nice. You gave me that milk. Uh, I can go ahead and do it now. And you're never going to know the difference. You're right. I'm not going to know the difference. But you are because you're interfering. And if you do it at the wrong time, then you're not totally in balance and harmony and honest with yourself. I'm going to tell you something. All you're doing is extending the process of difficulty and making it longer. All right. That may be a bad news scenario from you. But how am I going to, how am I going to put this to people in a way that you, you get it? We have this concept on this planet that we are an extremely intelligent species. When it comes to the evolutionary process and all of the mixing and melding and the blending and the intricacies of the process of evolution and the connection between two energy fields, one being male, one being female, we're in the dark, literally. All right. When it gets to the days when you see somebody like me who knows the process very well in uh, public schools, in high schools, in colleges and universities, as teachers and facilitators and mentioning this because right now we have kids in their mid-teens, tweens, I believe you call them, teenagers, people in their 20s going through this. We have people in businesses, corporations, banks, institutions, everywhere going through this who are not even, not even, all right, involved with what may be called the spiritual community and there's nobody there to help them. All right. And in a lot of cases, what's happening here on uh, Facebook and YouTube is of a lot of people who don't understand the process either. And trying to do something for people is not really helping all that much. So when you do this particular exercise, do it only for a period of a few days until you feel it's enough. Then simply hold the picture for about five minutes and let it go. That's all you need to do. Then just go ahead with your life and take a wait and see attitude as to what happens. But please, when you consider this, I want to go back and 
kind of redo this part that I said. If you are not in, in the state of consciousness where you feel as though you're perfectly balanced and harmonized and you have dealt with all of your shit and issues that you need to deal with, then don't be trying to fix somebody else's, namely your twin flame. Because that means you're a very self-centered person yourself and you're more interested in your own personal agenda because you want your twin flame to be with you. So therefore, you're more than willing to interfere if necessary and to get information that helps you interfere because you're not doing him or her a favor when you do this. Everyone has to go through a process of initiation of themselves and initiation of their character and the blemishes of their character. And I have never yet met a set of twin flames who were not equal in regards to the situation of you both have your shit to deal with. And although in some cases it may be much more flamboyant on one side, for example, he or she may be a drug addict or whatever, and you on the other hand don't have anything like that, any kind of addiction problem in your personality or your family. <clears throat> but then again, you may have sexual abuse or you may have something else. So it's always there. It's kind of, it's not complimentary, if I can put it that way. What I have always found is a common denominator of twin flames. Also, this thing that, oh, they're so much alike and they have so many things together, that's not a set of twin flames. When you have a set of twin flames coming together, they have contradictory or counterbalancing personality traits and blemishes and things with their character that are not in common with each other. If you've got a lot in common with each other, you're definitely not twin flames. You're probably a very good pair of soulmates in that perspective. So this is the way it kind of works. And when one does the work, one can help the other one when one has done the work. And this is what is happening. This is what Nicole and I have found out too in our own uh, union, is we each have to do our own work and one cannot interfere with the other. And even though we live under the same roof, when she's doing her issues and dealing with them, I do not interfere any way, shape or form. I wouldn't think of it. The same with me. <clears throat> if I'm dealing with an issue, she will not interfere. She will, and I will, <clears throat> talk to her about if she wants to talk about it or I want to talk about it. Then we will converse on the situation. Otherwise than that, we don't. Now, I think I'll leave that video for uh, as it is for now. And if you are considering <clears throat> doing anything like that, please think very, very carefully about what you're doing when you do this. And if you're looking for a magic bullet or a magic exercise or a workshop that's going to say to you, we're going to prepare you for your twin flame so that all of the things are going to be taken care of before you actually connect with your twin, that is bullshit. It doesn't happen till you actually meet your twin because then the energy combinations actually bring out the stuff that actually needs to be worked upon in that particular sense. There is nothing on this planet or any one or any workshop or any facilitator or any teacher or any piece of information that can do it for you. There is no magic bullet in spite of what a lot of people like to think about the twin flame aspect. Each and every one of you will earn it or you will not get it. Period. It's that simple. Simplicity is what it is. Have a great day, everyone.